In the video for today, I'm going to show you how to find a lost or stolen phone on Google Maps. This is a very effective method to get your phone back if it is still online or if it is still located in that specific location where Maps is actually showing you where it is. Kenneth Brown. Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown. Welcome to channel Signatech and how are we doing today? I hope fantastic. Well, if you're not because you've misplaced your phone, let's make this simple, quick and easy so that you could try and track your phone and get it back and I want to see that smile back on your face. So watch my video till the end, right? The first thing is when you misplace your phone, you panic, okay? You should not do that. I know these days a phone is very important to you. You may have important data on it. It has access to your bank account. It has access to your WhatsApp account, your Telegram account, Facebook, Instagram, and so on and so forth. So it's very important for you to get your phone back. If not, you block the phone so that nobody else misuses it, right? So the latest update to track or trace a phone on Google Maps is like this. So you get onto google.com and I want you to type in find your phone. So find your phone is a direct message you're giving to Google or a command to give you all the options to find your phone for your specific email address that was logged into the device. So this is the first thing. So once you do a search for this phrase and hit the enter button of your laptop, you are going to get all the results out here. I want you to click on the first link, find your phone. Once you do that, you are going to be directed to this page on which you're going to see the phone that is attached to the email address that was on the phone. So here, if you do not see the screen, you may just get an option to log in with an email address. So you need to use the same email address which was on your Android device, which is misplaced. So use the same email address and the password to log in. After you log in, you are going to see your device that is attached to that email address. So here itself, you are going to understand where it was last seen, which country and when it was seen. Like like this phone of mine was seen in West Bengal, India five minutes ago. And if you have multiple Android devices, all are going to show up here as a list. So you could select any one of those phones to track it on maps, okay, or tablets to track it on maps. So you click on the arrow button out here, okay, and then you are going to see your phone getting traced automatically by this amazing application by Google on Maps itself. So here you go, you could see my phone is traced. You could zoom in to find out the exact location, exact building, exact street, whatever it is, you get the exact address for the phone. All right. Now, once you do that, you could actually just, you know, put everything on a hold try and get back to that location where you see out here try to search for your phone if this was a restaurant that you were in maybe you left your phone in the bathroom or on the table or on the chair it happens because the last time i went to a restaurant i left my phone and my wallet on a chair and i just came out and i was opening my car because i had the car key tagged to my uh, loop on my jeans pant when I opened my car, you know, I tried to, you know, search for my phone and it was not in my pocket. So I immediately took my wife's phone and uh, I logged in using Chrome browser uh, to find my device on Google Maps and it gave me the exact location. So <laughs> I was just out of the restaurant, so it was easy for me. You may be in a different location altogether. Okay, it doesn't matter. You could try and get back as soon as possible to the location that is shown on maps out here and chances are that you get back your phone. You do not have to do anything else, okay? And these days, most of us are smart. We lock our phones with like fingerprint recognition or putting in a pin and then only somebody can uh, open your phone. So even if somebody gets your phone, they try to, you know, toggle in, they cannot do anything because it has a pin or it is secured, right? So you try and get back to this location and try to find the phone. If you find the phone, well and good. Congratulations, you got your phone back. But if you do not find your phone in such a circumstance, what you need to do is, first thing, since you are already on this page, I would assume that you would not want anybody else to misuse your data or misuse your information, right? So you could go ahead and uh, try and play sound. So if you click on this option, your phone is going to ring even if it is in silent mode. If you are in that location and your phone is nearby, you could hear it and of course, you would remember your ringtone. You could get to the location of your phone and you could get it back or recover it. Or uh, maybe if it is not ringing, you could secure your device. So this is gonna lock your phone 
Apart from that, if you think you're not getting your phone, you looked all over the place for more than an hour, you could go ahead and erase the device. So erasing your device means all your content uh, from that device, which is synced from your Google account, is gonna be erased. Now, the next thing to do is file in an FIR. So an FIR is basically done in a police station. So you get back to a local police station and file in a missing complaint for your phone and get a copy attested or signed by the police station itself. Okay, by the officials out there, which means you would have a proof that you have reported your phone being lost. Now, this is going to save you in the future. If your phone is found by somebody else and they are trying to misuse it, you're not pulled up for, you know, any useless reasons, right? I'm sure you get that. And if you're located in India, the next thing to do is go ahead and block your phone. You could get onto ceir.gov.in and you could block your phone using the IMEI number. So this is a specific department who is responsible for you know, blocking or recovering stolen devices. So you could see if you scroll down, more than 10 lakh mobile phones have been blocked and more than five lakh mobile phones have been recovered. So you could get onto this option, CEIR services, click on uh, block stolen or lost mobile phone, fill up the form and get your phone blocked. If these guys find your phone, they are going to verify and give it to you. You could use the same website to unblock your phone by using this option, unblock found mobile. So you click on this option, fill up the form, put in the ID that you get from these guys when you file in a missing complaint with these guys and your phone is unblocked or your IMA number, which you blocked earlier, gets unblocked. Now this, now this website is gonna work only if you are in India. If you're not in India, if you're in a different location, you would have to rely on the local services by the police station to recover your mobile phone. If you got some value out of my video for today, give it a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon. Take care, my friend.